Yes, uh, today's activity it's a celebration we call Labour of Love. Today being Labour Day, where we celebrate the contribution of the labour movement and the work that they have done to develop the community development in Antibago. We saw it fit to perform a Labour of Love service. Uh, being a Calypsonian and coming from the office of the Calypso Monarch, we decided to take up a challenge that was first highlighted by the mighty Chogdas, where our one of our cultural heroes, our Calypsonian heroes, the mighty striker. We decided to perform this service for him today in terms of beautifying his surroundings, cleaning up the surroundings, uh, doing an analysis of what, he, what is needed to have him a little more comfortable in this stage of his life in terms of the, his health and any other social services we may be able to, to lobby to get for him. I see you have a whole gang here, you hire all these people, right? Well, I didn't even know they're coming. I didn't even know they're coming. Every year is a set of talk about back log of kids. They cackle in just like a chicken home, but they really have time to waste. Ten thousand cases of magistrate, they really make it fun. Ten years you have to wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the buttons you want on the side. And then judges do. I'm the crumb prosecutor. Tell them what they do. I think it is really scary. I hear not bad. Of course. Please request for the occasion. Who they should get Hello? Yeah. Don't worry, strike it right in front of me. Strike it in front of me now. Who the worst? Who the worst? Who the worst? Who the Bandit, who the who? They have any place. Where the man who made it, who the who? We should give that friend a rake. Yes, the bandit, who the who? Oh, they better make it. Because I know this, who the who? We should give them to shake away. And I like his music, and, I, and it, it is nostalgic when I sing them songs. You are singing it. It is make it jump. It is, it, in fact, they had a tribute to him, and I sang. Bandi Hula Hoop. I sing I sang Bandi Hula Hoop. That was one of my favorites. He was a handsome fella, you know, he was so, so good looking in the days. Man like he was better looking than me and all. Striker? He was better looking than me when he was, when he was young like me, but look at how pretty you looking there. You want to take my girl in, 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 in them times? <laughs> You were 28 when you went? 28 years. 28? Yeah. What? 27. That one was 27. You went first from your 27 years old? Yeah. So young? Yes. Paro went when he was um, younger than me. 21. Paro went when he was 21. Yeah. Hmm. The first one was the PRM song? Or the Hula Hoop? The PRM. The PRM song? Uh, Hello. They ask the people where party they want in the jungle now. Yeah, them, the young, the old, all the little children shouting out here in the nation. The government that they ask before, then they set up the land. And it went on and on. And he mashed up the place. Well, I was, I didn't know him. I didn't know him. But in, in the formation of the Tuko Izzon, I get to know him personally. And we became very close friends. I felt like I had a like him. And he always talk to me, he advise me. He want to drop home or give him a drop home. He's a nice fella, very, very nice fella to me. I just like the guy. I like his music. Because a lot of people don't know the kind of music this man has. He won the drum twice, back to back. And he has some songs, sweet. He has one of the handkerchief. He's one of the unsung heroes in Galeta World. One of the unsung heroes in I started this house in 1959. I started the house. 
And the second time I won the crown, I get a thousand dollars and a little bit from the tent. And I know this like it going as well as see it going. I say no boy, I say nothing get bricks and concrete yes. I mean um, and sand it. Bricks, concrete and sand. And I bought that. And the two brothers from Gerald and Freddie, they deceased now. And they came out the foundation and uh, piece by piece, piece by piece. And this is the as far as I reach. What oh, they wanted to send me away, send me away to box. Matthew Ramcharan, before he was in politics, he was in the same cricket team. So one day, watch me on my hand and he hits me, he hits me. He said, how you just get down them big fellows? They're heavier than you, tall and everything. I said, before look for fight. He said, I see hope, but I can't understand that up to now. He said, anyhow, I have some money. And I'll get friends and family to help. I'll send you over here to train and see what could happen. You will go and say yes. But when I told dictator, Viking, spoiler, Attila and thing, they didn't want to hear that. They could have seen the potential in me, in the college too. And they're afraid of the dead damage. But if I had the sense like now that it's gone, I wouldn't have listened to them. And that's it. I was 19 there. Striker would have been very, very popular when I was a little boy. I would imagine I might have been what, age seven, eight, nine. But I, I still make the point that as far as my my memory goes, um, you did have a greater number of hours, as I put it that way, hours of Calypso being aired in the, the middle 50s, the early 60s, around the time when, when Stryker would have been popular. And I remember hearing Stryker's Calypso's on the radio. And because for a couple of years he was the Calypso monarch, um, the radio stations at the time aired a lot of his Calypso's. And so they became popular. Um, and the, the, well, the evidence that it became popular through being aired on the radio. And I think Stryker's importance um, as a Calypsonian in the era in which he belonged is that he chronicled, as um, lots of good Calypsonians do, chronicled the feelings of the day. And um, I distinctly remember one of those Calypsos. In fact, I mean, I, I would have heard it, learned it still, learned it then and it remained in my memory the one where he was talking about the popularity of dr williams shortly after the pnm had its first victory and the, the years thereafter um, and it is very interesting how using the the well the calypso genre if you want to call it how striker was able to tell us how popular and important Eric Williams was to the people, how the people felt about him. Um, the, the lyrics to which I refer go something like this. Annabella Stockton wants patching, she want the doctor help she with that. Johnson trousers falling, he want the doctor help him with that. Some want a Zephyr motor car, others want piece of land. Now Dorothy Loshi man, she want to complain to Dr. Williams. And I think in the chorus of that calypso, um, what you have there in crystallized form is how much everybody, the Marish and the Parish, the total community um, had put their faith 
in in Eric Williams, everybody, and and um, of course it's done in, in in Calypso language, but it captures what is happening. So whether it's your stocking, whether your trousers falling, whether you want to buy a motor car, even to the extent where you know you lose your man, right? You complain because the feeling was, if I make the conclusion, that Eric Williams would have found a solution to your problem. And I think this is the importance of what the Calypso does in, you know, in, in, in the era in which it belongs. The, the Calypsonian who is living it, who is feeling it, is chronicling it so that we could understand. So now, you know, one could look back. So if, I mean, if anybody wants to ask the question, how important was Eric Williams to the middle 50s or the early 60s? You turn to a striker Calypso and you have there on record um, exactly how the people felt about Eric Williams. need to do in order to improve um, he would sometimes at the arena opening because the kitchen review would always be there at the arena he will always be present and he would always be at the backstage to inform me that what you need to do I didn't hear this we a man who's normally known for diction I didn't hear the applause properly the music too loud you could come and check me for assistance so, you know we have that good relationship and I wish him all the best I, I'm glad I want to congratulate Kurt and both Kurt and Chavez for organizing this event here of coming to system. Apart from that, I know he's very instrumental with his innovations, creations with the band. The band called the Chord Masters. It mastered all recording bands. It played with three and four sticks. One of the double sticks. Yes, for all. It need a little tuning up. Bone cleaning and shining and so on. Talk to the um, government. They never answer me, but Raul Gibbons heard about it and he came, played for him, and he took me down to the University of the West Indies. And then he gave me that flap there and a nice little check. Doing that. I bought this from Ken Hutchkinson. There is where the record at the studio in St. Joseph. And so, when we hand, not in order again, but then they show the children what to do. And they does it. Every one, six months, and they, they pass with distinction. Every one. Even some of the trophies here. That was 1958, that's the first time of all. Yeah, the second time, 1959. Some other and Jack, well, they don't, they don't forget me at all. And Jack, some good nice people. That is the self and surprise, mighty power, we good friends. And we rely on this idea. 